On day one, I spawned in a SpongeBob. Oh no, I forgot. I gotta get ready for work. Wow, look at the bikini bottom. It all looks so cool. I got to the Krusty Krab and said hello to both Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Ahoy, matey! Whatever, SpongeBob. Right before I can get started, an explosion happened. Plankton broke into the restaurant and started to yell at us. Krabs, I will have that recipe if it's the last thing I do. You'll never get the recipe, Plankton. I'm going to blow this place sky high to get it. No! Not me money! Plankton blew up the Krusty Krab. It sent me flying straight out of the bikini bottom. On day two, I landed in a strange area I'd never seen before. Who's gonna feed Gary? Oh no, I gotta find him before it's too late. I was surrounded by trees, and I wasn't sure where I should start. I decided to chop some of the trees down to make a crafting table. Next, I used some of the wood to craft a set of wooden tools. <laughs> Suddenly, I heard a scream that was close by. Oh no, I think that's Patrick calling for help. I ran toward where his voice was coming from. Finally, I saw Patrick, and he was being chased by a fish monster. I jumped in to help him and started fighting him with my sword. He hit me, but look at that. I think I had natural resistance. Wow, I guess being a sponge really does have its benefits. A few more good hits, and down he went. Patrick, pal, are you okay? SpongeBob? Boy, am I glad to see you. I was under my rock eating mayonnaise when suddenly I shot sky high to here. Same, buddy. We need to make our way back to Bikini Bottom. Also, I found this while I was out there. Patrick threw me a piece of paper in a bottle. Wait a second. Not just any piece of paper. It was the Krabby Patty secret formula. Wow. Good find, buddy. We can't let Plankton get a hold of this. Or who knows what's gonna happen. We made our way back in the direction of the Bikini Bottom. On day three, Patrick and I were on our way back to Bikini Bottom when suddenly we spotted Doodle Bob? How did he get here? And what is he up to? Me hi, me noi hi. Doodle Bob ran up to a fish and used his pencil to trap him in a drawing. Whoa. That thing seems really powerful. What could he possibly want with that fish? We didn't have time to worry about it now, though. So we went around him and made our way toward Bikini Bottom. Finally, we arrived, but it was in total ruins. Most of the buildings were partially destroyed. We returned to where our houses were, and my pineapple was on fire. I put the fire out and started to rebuild it with some of the wood and stone I'd gathered. Inside my pineapple, I used some of my leftover wood to craft a chest and hide the recipe inside of it. Wow, it feels like we we're starting to get some stuff back to normal. The rest of the Bikini Bottom was definitely going to need to be rebuilt as well. On day four, I decided it was time to return to the crusty crab to see what was left of it. I made my way down the road and eventually got there. I noticed across the street the chum bucket was completely undamaged from Plankton's explosion, but the crusty crab was in ruins. I made my way into Mr. Crab's vault to see if anything had survived the explosion, but there was no money left. Luckily, in one of the chests, I found my trusty stone spatula. Wow, I was really starting to miss this. I also found some bread, which was great because I was starving. I then searched the freezer to see if there are any ingredients so I can use my bread to make a Krabby Patty, but to my surprise, all the ingredients were missing. They must have been blown away in the explosion as well. Oh, man. As I was getting ready to leave, a robot golem showed up at the Krusty Krab. He must be one of Plankton's creations. The golem attacked me, but luckily, I found my spatula. I was able to use it and take him down. Wow, that was close. I headed back toward my pineapple to go to bed for the night. On day five, I had the strangest dream. I was in front of a, a giant chum bucket with a huge robotic plankton. <laughs> SpongeBob, I told you I would get the Krabby Patty formula. Now the world is mine. You will never get the secret formula, Plankton. I won't let you. It is too late, SpongeBob. I have it, and I was able to engineer it so that all of the Bikini Bottom is now under my control. I looked around, and he was right. All the fish were wearing mind control chum buckets, being controlled by Plankton. All hail, Plankton. You are sick, Plankton. Bikini Bottom will never be yours. I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> Sorry, SpongeBob, but the world is already mine. You're too weak. <laughs> Attack! A group of robot withers appeared behind Plankton, and they attacked me. I woke up. Oh, no. Plankton, he has a formula. I rushed to the chest to see if the formula was there. Luckily, though, it was. I can't let Plankton get a hold of this. I think it'll be better if I keep it on myself than hide it in this chest. I better be careful. On day six, I searched the rest of Bikini Bottom to see if Gary or anyone else had made their way back. I looked all over, but couldn't find anyone. I even went to the jellyfish fields and saw there were no jellyfish anywhere. Wow, where did they all go? I decided to start looking elsewhere to see if I can find Gary. I traveled through a forest biome and noticed something orange. I ran up and saw it was a piece of my pineapple that had gone missing. I quickly used my spatula to mine up the piece. Now I can rebuild my pineapple to its original glory. Right when I was getting ready to return to my base though, I heard a group of sheep calling for help. I saw they were being attacked by a group of jellyfish. 
That's where all of them went. I jumped into action to help the sheep. I started to fight them off with my spatula, but their stings hurt. They seemed to be able to penetrate my resistance. After a few more hits, I was able to take all of them down. Whoa, that was a close one. Are you guys okay? I decided to take the sheep back to the bikini bottom with me. When I arrived, I made them a quick pen right next to my pineapple. Afterwards, I took the time to fully repair the pineapple with the missing piece I'd found. Wow, I'm so glad I found that. It was getting pretty late, so I went to sleep for the night. On day seven, I woke up to the sound of screaming outside. I ran out and saw Doodle Bob. Hey, Doodle Bob, what are you doing? SpongeBob, bad. Doodle Bob, good. People like Doodle Bob more. It seemed like he was upset because people like me more than him. You won't make a lot of friends by kidnapping them, you know? Make on Bikini Bottom. Everyone loved Doodle there. Doodle Bob then drew a mob using his pencil and he began attacking me. He was tough. He summoned kelp from the ground, which did damage. A few good hits from my spatula and down he went. Wow, Doodle Bob is super powerful with that pencil. He mentioned he's creating his own Bikini Bottom so that people are gonna like him. I'm gonna have to find it. I was really sad about the Krabby Patties and how all the ingredients had gone missing. I decided I would preserve them in a statue. I used the wood I had left over to work on the bun and knew I would need to gather some of the wool to create the rest of the Krabby Patty. That was another day's story though. First, I really need to find Gary and Doodle Bob's base. On day eight, I traveled back to the strange world in search of Gary and Doodle Bob's bikini bottom. I, I knew both of them had to be somewhere out here. I searched a few biomes but was not able to find either of them. I was starting to give up hope when suddenly the king jellyfish approached me. He was angry that he was not at the jellyfish fields anymore and seemed to blame me for it. I told him that we all got separated, but I can sure take him back. He started to look very angry though. Oh no, I have to run. I ran away. And while I was running back to Bikini Bottom, I ran directly into a piece of Patrick's house. Wow, how convenient. My friend is gonna be so happy with this. I mined the piece of his house and took it back to Bikini Bottom. Hey Patrick, look what I have. Is it my mayonnaise collection? No, buddy, but hopefully we can find that too. It's a piece of your house. Oh boy, that's great. We got to work rebuilding Patrick's house. Wow, look at that. It looks so good. On day nine, I woke up and decided I should go find some more material. I wanted to find Gary so badly, but I was worried I was not strong enough because of the king jellyfish. But I traveled into a cave and searched for iron. I was able to find some. With the iron, I was able to upgrade my spatula to iron. Wow, check it out. It's so shiny now. I used the other iron I had found to make myself some iron boots and pants. As I was getting ready to leave, I was attacked by a group of zombies in the cave. Ah, what are these monsters. I fought back against them using my spatula. My resistance helped. Whoa, that was a close one. But then I realized I'd eat my last piece of bread from the crusty crab. I left the cave and started to punch some of the grass to collect seeds so I can start a farm. Once I had enough seeds, I gathered a bunch of dirt and returned home to my pineapple. I used the dirt to lay the foundation for my farm. Since I was underwater, the water filled the holes next to the dirt without me having to use a bucket. I then crafted a stone hoe with some of my leftover stone and wood. I used the hoe on the dirt so it can plant the seeds. Now all I need to do is wait a little and I'll have a ton of bread. On day 10, I traveled back into the world in search of Gary and Doodle Bob. I was looking through a desert biome when I saw Squidward. Leave me alone, you freak. I will get that recipe from you, Squidward. I jumped in to stop Plankton. I used my spatula to flip him away from Squidward. Curses, SpongeBob. I will get that formula from you if it's the last thing I do. He ran off. Suddenly, a villager walked up. <laughs> Huh. Shut up! The villager ran away scared, and I asked Squidward if he was okay. Huh, SpongeBob, that lunatic thinks I have the Krabby Patty formula. He explained to me that after the explosion, Plankton has been chasing him all over the world, trying to get the formula from him. Aw, oh, shucks, buddy. I'm sure glad you're okay. I am not your buddy, SpongeBob. Me and my best friend Squidward returned to the Bikini Bottom, and I helped him rebuild his base. Luckily, nothing was missing from his house, and we were able to easily put it back together. The secret ingredient for the Krabby Patties is still missing. Missing, but worse, my clarinet! It's missing too. Don't worry, friend. We'll get them both back. On days 11 to 12, I set out in search of the secret ingredient as well as Gary. I miss Gary so much. While I was searching, I came across a very scared baby cow. As I approached the cow, she ran off terrified. I was about to catch up to the cow and explain I was just trying to help. She told me that someone who looked like me attacked her village and she was separated from her family. This must be Doodle Bob. He is attacking people in this world as well as the Bikini Bottom. I need to stop him. The Cal and I searched the forest and were able to find the other cows. I reunited her and her parents, and they were very grateful. <laughs>
I explained to all of them that it was not me, but a monster that looked exactly like me. I asked the cows if they could tell me where their village was, and they pointed me in the right direction. I set off towards the village. On days 13 to 14, I arrived at the village and saw all the villagers were all completely trapped inside of drawing cells. <laughs> I rushed up to the villagers and explained it was not me, but a monstrous drawing of myself. The villagers were relieved and explained that Doodle Bob had returned and continued to take them back to his base. I tried to search the village for anything that could help break them out of their prisons, but the village was completely looted. I tried to use my spatula on the cells, but was unable to break it. I felt bad, but I had to leave the villagers trapped. I knew when I had Doodle Bob's pencil, I would return and free these villagers. I returned home and talked to Patrick about what Doodle Bob was doing. We need to stop him, SpongeBob. Think of the man. The mayo can wait, buddy. We'll have to find his base and steal his pencil. First things first, we need to find out exactly where he lives. Since Squidward was back, I needed to expand my farm so we would have enough food while we waited to find the Krabby Patty ingredients. On days 15 to 16, I woke up and went outside and I saw Plankton in a hot air balloon. No doubt he was trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula. He flew overhead and he started to drop TNT on my pineapple. It blew the roof clean off. You'll pay for that, Plankton. There's no way you'll get that formula from me. <laughs> that's where you're Rock SpongeBob, the formula will be mine! He started to drop another TNT, but before he could, a large gust of air hit his balloon and sent him flying the other way. Ha <laughs> ha, Plankton, you'll never get this! But I do have something more valuable to you than that formula! Ha ha ha! What could he mean by that? After Plankton's attempt to steal the formula was so close, I knew I needed to get stronger and more upgrades. I set off to the mines to hopefully find enough iron to complete my armor set. I crafted myself an iron chest plate, as well as an iron helmet. Finally, my iron armor set was complete. I returned home and gathered some of my wheat so that I would have food on my journey to Doodle Bob's Bikini Bottom. On days 17 to 18, I was out searching for Doodle Bob's base when I was attacked by the King Jellyfish. <laughs> But I was stronger than I was before. With my new armor, his stings dealt less damage. And I was able to fight back much better. I was able to take him out. Suddenly, I changed. Whoa, I have my jellyfishing outfit now. And I had 15 hearts. I definitely thought I was ready to take on Doodle Bob now. I continued to search. And I ran into a fish who was running away in a hurry. Hey, slow down, man. What's the rush? The fish explained to me that he had been captured by Doodle Bob, but was able to break free. Do you know where his base is? He pointed me in the right direction. I thanked him and set off toward Doodle Bob's base. On days 19 to 20, I arrived at Doodle Bob's base. The first thing I noticed was there was a drawn version of my pineapple. Doodle Bob wasn't kidding. He's making his own bikini bottom. I looked around and noticed there were fish trapped in drawn prisons. Oh no, this isn't good. Just then, Doodle Bob came out of his pineapple and he walked up to one of the fish. He threw him one of the nastiest looking Krabby Patties I had ever Scene. Eat now! He forced the fish to eat it, and suddenly the fish died. Doodle Bob looked very angry that he didn't like the Krabby Patty and stormed off. I made my way to the fish, making sure Doodle Bob was still gone, and tried to break them out using my spatula again, but it was no use. I promise I'll get you guys out once I'm able to get the pencil away from Doodle Bob, okay? The fish told me they were starving, and I knew I had to do something about this. I'm gonna come back with food for you guys. You have my word. I set off back toward my base. On days 21 to 23, I returned to my bikini bottom and started to think of a way I can make all the fish food. I wasn't sure how it was even gonna be possible. Oh, you should make them all pizza. Everyone loves pizza. That's a great idea, buddy. I should get started right away. I went to the farm and gathered as much wheat as I could. I put the wheat into the furnaces and knew I would have to wait a little while for the pizzas to be done cooking. In the meantime, I decided I decided to add a bunch of chests to my base so I would have more storage for the items I would be collecting on my journey. Next, I started to work on my Krabby Patty statue. It was really starting to come together. Once I finished my statue, the pizzas were all done cooking. I grabbed them and I was getting ready to set off when I realized I wanted someone to come with me. I asked my best friend Squidward to come and he was very reluctant at first, but eventually he decided he'll go along for the journey. If it means you will shut up for a minute. That's the spirit, Squidward. We set off toward the villages and Doodle Bob's bikini bottom. On days 20 to 26, Squidward and I made our way across the villages I'd seen and delivered each of them pizza so they would have food while they were trapped. There were so many villages already affected by Doodle Bob and I knew I had to put an end to this madness. As we were making our way to Doodle Bob's base, we were suddenly ambushed by robot golems again. The golems started to attack us. Thankfully, I upgraded my spatula to iron and I was able to take them down with it. We made our way to Doodle Bob's base and made sure the coast was clear. He was nowhere in sight. So we used the opportunity to deliver the final pizza to the fish. Here you go, guys. This should keep you fed while we figure out a way to free you. The fish were extremely grateful and I was getting ready to leave, but one of the fish stopped me. 
He threw me a bunch of seeds for some of the Krabby Patty ingredients. Wow, we're one step closer to making Krabby Patties again. We headed home, knowing that all the prisoners would be well fed for now. On days 27 to 29, Squidward and I returned home to our houses, and I got to work expanding my farm. Next, I made sure to plant as many of the lettuce, onion, and tomatoes as I could. Patrick came up to me and told me that he had seen this massive factory pop up in Bikini Bottom. I knew that this had to be from Plankton, so I quickly made my way over there. The building looked like a giant burger factory. He must be trying to get ready in case he was able to steal the formula. I made my way inside and was attacked by a giant flying robot. The robot started to shoot particles at me, but they weren't that hard to avoid. I tried to use my spatula when I got close, but he was able to knock me back. I knew I would have to be fast and hit him quickly. I rushed into him and finally was able to get a good flip on him. I heard a familiar meowing. Gary, is that you? I saw Gary was trapped in a cage hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> You too, buddy. I quickly broke Gary out, and we made our way back to the base. We made our way inside our pineapple, and I made Gary his own bed. I was so excited to finally be reunited with him. On days 30 to 32, I rushed outside and saw Plankton with a giant Krabby Patty monster. I was trying to create my own Krabby Patties, but I made this instead. Look, and my masterpiece. Plankton, what have you done? It's a mutant Krabby Patty. Get the recipe for me. The mutant Krabby Krabby Patty attacked me. He was incredibly strong. The mutant Krabby Patty attacked my pineapple and started to destroy it. No, stop. Just then, Doodle Bob showed up. He jumped in and he erased the Krabby Patty with his pencil. Curses, Doodle Bob. The recipe was almost mine. SpongeBob, mine to destroy. Me hi, me noi hi. Plankton fled with Doodle Bob chasing after him. I took the moment to rebuild the destroyed parts of my pineapple. Wow, that was a close one. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank goodness for Doodle Bob. On days 33 to 35, I woke up and realized I needed more upgrades in order to defeat Plankton and Doodle Bob. I headed out and found a cave to look for diamonds. After a bit of searching, I found a huge mine shaft. Whoa, look at this place. I was about to give up hope when I found some. I mined them quickly and used them to upgrade my diamond spatula. It was a good thing I upgraded it as well because I was then attacked by a group of robot endermen. Of course, Plankton was still creating more robots to try and steal the formula. They were quick and attacked fast. After a bit of fighting, I took them down. Get flipped guys. I returned home to my base and Gary was waiting outside the pineapple for me. Hey Gary, what's going on? <laughs> Gary, that's amazing. We'll be one step closer to making Krabby Patties again. On days 36 to 38, I came across another village, but this village was different. It was completely drawn. I entered the village and was looking to find more villagers that were trapped, but none of them were. They were all drawings. The drawing villagers spotted me. Ah. They started to attack, and I tried to use my spatula, but I was unable to damage them at all. Oh no, this isn't good. I had no choice but to run away. Things are definitely starting to get worse with Doodle Bob. I need to find a way to steal his pencil so I can erase all of his drawings and reverse this, and started looking for any signs of the diver who took the seeds like Gary had mentioned. I then came across a fishing workshop. This must be where he lives. I made my way inside and started to look through the chests. I found them. The Krabby Patty Bun Seeds. Score! I made my way outside to return home. When the diver showed up, he started to attack me, summoning Diver Drowns. The drowns are no problem for me, but the Diver was fast, and right when I thought I defeated him, he made it start raining, which regained his health. Oh no, this guy's super tough. I continued to fight, and finally was able to bring him down. Just then, I felt myself change, and I finally became the Hall Monitor. I had 20 hearts. Awesome. I started to make my way back to Bikini Bottom. On days 39 to 41, I was making my way through a forest on my way back to Bikini Bottom when something jumped out at me. Oh, SpongeBob, I am glad to see you. Sandy, you look, uh, different. I'm not sure what you mean, SpongeBob. This is how I've always looked. I was trying to get back to Bikini Bottom, but... I got lost. I'm actually headed there right now. I could take you with me if you want. Before we returned, we stopped to grab some sand because I knew we would need some glass to repair Sandy's tree dome. We returned home to Bikini Bottom and we rebuilt the part of Sandy's tree dome that was destroyed from Plankton's blast. I then went and added some more dirt to my farm and planted all the Krabby Patty bun seeds I had. One step closer to Krabby Patties, I then returned to Sandy and explained to her that Plankton would stop at nothing to steal the formula from me. Sandy told me that she had a plan for him. I think we can make a rocket and trick him into it. Then we we can send him to the moon and he won't bother us ever again. That's a great idea, Sandy. I also heard about this cheese biome that might solve the Krabby Patty cheese problem. If you bring me iron for my rocket, I'll tell you where I think it is. Of course Sandy wants me to get things before helping me. On days 42 to 44, I set off to a cave to find as much iron as I could. Once inside, I started to mine all the iron I can see. Along the way, I found a few diamonds which I used to make a pair of diamond pants and diamond chest plate. I was starting to feel like nothing could stop me. 
cave. I returned home to Sandy's tree dome and gave her all the iron I found while in the caves. This is a great start, SpongeBob. Now, can you tell me about the cheese biome? Of course. It's not too far from here, actually. Sandy explained to me where the cheese biome was and talked about the cheese cows that inhabited the area. I thanked her and got ready for my journey. Before I set off, I decided to work on my Krabby Patty statue. Even though we were getting closer to finishing the Krabby Patties for real, I wanted to make sure I had something to remind everyone how good they were. Before I left, I collected some of the regular wheats and used it to create bread for my journey. I said goodbye to Gary and headed off. On days 45 to 46, I arrived at the cheese biome. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. I started looking around when I spotted a herd of cheese cows. I approached the cheese cows and explained to them that I was trying to find cheese for my Krabby Patties and how they would be a big help. They explained to me that they were being attacked by someone who looked identical to me. They must be talking about Doodle Bob. They said that not too far from here, he was capturing cheese cows and taking them somewhere else. I set off to find him. I hadn't traveled very far when I saw the cheese cows trapped in a drawing with Doodle Bob. Hey, leave the cows alone, SpongeBob. Bad. He started to attack me using his pencil, but it seemed like it wasn't as effective because of my diamond armor. I realized maybe my spatula would be able to hurt him now. I flipped him over, and to my surprise, he dropped the pencil. Before he can get it, I picked it up. I was getting ready to try and erase him, but he ran off. Barnacles. I almost had him. I used a pencil and was able to erase the bedrock that was trapping the cheese cows. The cows were extremely grateful and thanked me. Some of them agreed to return to Bikini Bottom with me so I can use the cheese they produced for the Krabby Patties. Wow, thanks guys. Together, we set off back toward Bikini Bottom. On days 47 to 50, I returned to Bikini Bottom and headed to the Krusty Krab. I started to create a pen for the cheese cows. I used some of my wheat to give them a few hay bales so they would have something to eat. I then started to realize how close to making Krabby Patties again we were. I was really excited, but then it hit me. I knew nothing about running a business. Who was going to operate the Krusty Krab while I made the Krabby Patties? I needed to find Mr. Krabs. So I started to search the Krusty Krab to see if Mr. Krabs was anywhere. I went to the vault where he would always count his money, but didn't find him. I started to look in the freezer, but he wasn't there either. I then searched his house to see if maybe he would return home, but he also wasn't there. I didn't know where he was. I made my way back to the Krusty Krab when I thought I heard Mr. Krabs. I heard the distinct sound of a penny rolling on the floor, followed by... Money, money. Money. Plankton must be holding Mr. Krabs in the chum bucket. I made my way over to the chum bucket and got ready to go inside. On days 51 to 53, I entered the chum bucket. It felt cold and laboratory-like. Nothing like the Krusty Krab, that's for sure. I started to look around for any sign of Mr. Krabs when a robot started to attack me. I was ready for him, though. I started to fight back using my spatula, and eventually, he went down. I went deeper into the chum bucket, and I finally found him. Mr. Krabs! Sponge boy, me Bob! Get me out of here! I was unable to break the cage he was in, but realized there might be a key to unlock it. I then noticed a chest that was labeled, not key for cage chest. So I decided to open it and it had the key. Wow, I guess that sign sure was misleading. I ran back to free Mr. Krabs and we started to make our way to the exit when Plankton showed up in a robotic suit. Where do you think you're going, SpongeBob? Out of this terrible place you call a restaurant. Plankton tried to trap us, but we were able to dodge it. I then used my spatula to knock him out of the mech so we could run for the exit. Curses Krabs, I will have that formula. On days 54 to 56, Mr. Krabs and I made our way back to the Krusty Krab. Funny boy, me Bob, the Krusty Krab is in ruins. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I have the material to build it back to its original glory. We spent some time rebuilding it, and it looked as good as new. Good as new, SpongeBob. Me money was taken when I was blown away. Oh no, how are we gonna survive without your money? Magician took all me money. He's somewhere in the dark forest I landed in. Well, don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I can go back back and get your money and I'll bring it back to you. I mean, we're gonna need it to run the Krusty Krab, right? That's the spirit, me boy. I'm not paying you for this either. Take this. I found it in Plankton's chum bucket. Mr. Krabs threw me a potion of swiftness. That's more than enough payment for me. Good. Now double time, SpongeBob. Time is money. I drank the potion and ran off towards the dark forest to find that magician and get Mr. Krabs' money back. On days 57 to 59, I made my way into the dark forest biome and I came across the theater in the woods. Oh no. This this has to be where the magician lives. I made my way inside, and the theater was completely empty except for a magician standing on the stage. <laughs> No, I'm actually here to get my boss's money back. And he's not paying me for this, so can we uh, get this done in a hurry? The magician started to attack me. He threw cards at me, and I had to avoid them. I tried to attack him, but then he went invisible. He moved around the theater, pulling bunnies from his hat, and they started to attack me too. Every time I fought them off, he would pull more out to attack me. So I had to pull out Doodle Bob's pencil and use it on him. I completely erased him from existence. I felt myself starting to feel strange. And whoa, I'm ripped, and I have anchor arms. I searched the magician's theater and found the theater's back room. It was 
filled with gold blocks. This must be Mr. Krabs' money. I mined all of it up and started to make my way back to Bikini Bottom. On days 60 to 62, I returned to the Krusty Krab and helped Mr. Krabs load all of his money into his vault. Don't get any ideas, SpongeBob. This is my money. Of course not, Mr. Krabs. Just happy we're back together in the Krusty Krab. I then headed to Sandy's Tree Dome to see how the rocket was coming along. Sandy told me she was going to need a lot more iron and some redstone to power the rocket. I headed back into the mines and mined all the redstone and iron I could find. I even found a few more diamonds. I used the diamonds to finish my diamond armor and then headed back to Sandy's. Sandy and I started to work on the rocket and it really seemed to be coming together. I figured this is a good time to work on my Krabby Patty. It looks great now, but just wait until it's fully done. I returned to the Krusty Krab to see if Mr. Krabs needed anything else while I had some free time. I asked Mr. Krabs if he had any idea where we can get patties for the Krabby Patties. Of course I do, SpongeBob. I always get me patties from the ancient patty mines. Not too far from here. An ancient patty mine? Okay, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Mr. Krabs gave me the coordinates, and I set off to the mine to grab as much of the patty ore as I could. I'm not paying you for this either! On days 63 to 65, I made my way to the ancient patty mine that Mr. Krabs had described. I was inside and saw a massive lava pit. It looked like there were structures I could jump to, so I was really careful and made my way across the lava pit, carefully jumping from structure to structure. On the other side, I found a ton of patty ores. I started to mine them, and they dropped, uh, minced meat? Okay. I didn't know Krabby Patties came from the ground, but I guess that's why they're so delicious. Once I had mined all the Krabby Patty ore I could find, I headed back home to Bikini Bottom. When I arrived at the Krusty Krab, it was under attack by Doodle Bob and some of his drawings. I took out my pencil and began erasing as many of them as I could, turning them back to normal fish. Before I could erase all of them, one of them destroyed part of the Krusty Krab. Me hoi me noi me hoi me noi. SpongeBob bad, Doodle gut. He ran back to his own version of Bikini Bottom. I started to rebuild the Krusty Krab. It felt like we had just finished it, and now we're rebuilding. Wow. No matter. I restored it to the sweet, greasy glory it was. It was getting late, though, so I went to bed, knowing I would get Doodle Bob tomorrow. On days 66 to 68, I woke up and prepared to go to Doodle Bob's Bikini Bottom and put an end to him once and for all. I set out on my journey to his base, and along the way, stopped to free all the fish and villagers that I came across. All of them were so appreciative that I came back for them and freed them like I had promised. Don't sweat it, guys. I made my way to Doodle Bob's base and was getting ready to free the fish when Doodle Bob himself showed up. SpongeBob! Doodle wants friends! This is a bad way to get friends, Doodle Bob. If you were just nice to people, they would want to be your friends as well. No! Doodle Bob attacked me, and I started to fight back against him. I took out the pencil and used it on him. Ah! I looked and noticed part of his face was erased. I ran at him, trying to finish him off, but he ran off. I let him go for now. I knew he was powerless without his pencil. I then took the time to make sure I erased all of Doodle Bob's bikini bottom and finally freed the rest of the fish that were at his base. We all started to make our way back to bikini bottom. On days 69 to 71, I returned to Bikini Bottom with all the fish that had been freed from Doodle Bob's base. The fish started to settle into their homes. I found a great spot for my Krabby Patty statue to stay. Now everyone in Bikini Bottom can see it. I was almost done admiring my work when Plankton showed up with an army of robots. He was inside of a giant mech suit. You are going to give me that formula, SpongeBob. Never. He and his robots started to attack. I had defeated all of them once, so I knew I could do it again. I thought they would be no match for me now that I had full diamond armor and the pencil, but there were too many of them. I was beginning to be overrun when Plankton stepped in with his mech. He hit me really hard, and I could barely move. He then grabbed the formula from me. No! <laughs> I have the formula now, and the Krabby Patties are mine! I was helpless as I watched him walk away with the formula. How could I have let this happen? On days 72 to 74, I made my way to the Krusty Krab to tell Mr. Krabs the bad news. Mr. Krabs, Plankton, he stole the formula, and I wasn't able to stop him. Oh no, me boy! This is very bad. I know, but we need to get it back, me boy. If not, I'll lose all my money. That's not even the worst part. He will know the secret ingredients, Mr. Krabs. This is going to change everything. Me money is more important. You need to go and get the secret ingredient before he does, SpongeBob. But where do I find it, Mr. Krabs? You're the only one who knows what it is. I get the secret ingredient at Skull Rock. You'll have to go there to grab it before Plankton figures out where it is. Mr. Krabs gave me the coordinates to Skull Rock so I could retrieve the Krabby Patty secret ingredient for the Krabby Patties. I grabbed a few things and then left to go. On days 75 to 77, I arrived at Skull Rock. There was a giant shark head on the front of the huge cave.
castle. I made my way up the large staircase and entered a dining room. I looked around and finally I found some bottles in a chest labeled secret ingredients. This must be the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patties. I was getting ready to leave when suddenly a group of lizard people started to run at me. I was scared, so I started to hit them with my spatula. They attacked me at range and then would get close and knock me back. They were no match for my diamond spatula though. Take this! Down they went. Mr. Krabs never mentioned it was guarded by lizard people. I wonder why he left that out. Eh, anyway, I had what I needed and started to make my way back to Bikini Bottom so we can start cooking our Krabby Patties again. On days 78 to 80, I returned to the Krusty Krab with a secret ingredient. I handed it to Mr. Krabs and he was extremely happy. Sponge boy, me Bob! You did it! Did you say hi to my lizard friends for me? They don't get company often. Uh, yeah, your friends. They were, uh, uh, great. Oh, no. I ran back to my farm as fast as I could to gather the other ingredients for the Krabby Patties. I guess those lizard people were Mr. Krabs' friends. Yikes. I started to harvest all the lettuce, tomatoes, and onions I could carry. I then grabbed all the buns from the special seeds. I stopped by the cheese cows, and they gave me a bunch of cheese. It was cooking time. I started to make as many Krabby Patties as I could, and as fast as I was able to. In no time, the delicious smell of Krabby Patties was filling Bikini Bottom, and fish were swarming to the Krusty Krab-like anchovies. We were selling them so fast, I could barely keep up. The Krusty Krab was back in business. The fish weren't the only ones who noticed, because in no time, Plankton was at the Krusty Krab. Krabs! Why is everyone eating these and not mine? You must have the secret ingredient. He started to attack Mr. Krabs, but I stepped in. Hide the secret ingredient. I started to fight him off while Mr. Krabs ran off to the vault to hide it. I was able to distract him long enough for Mr. Krabs to get away. Curses, SpongeBob! I will get you for this! He ran back to the chum bucket. On days 81 to 85, I started by repairing the part of the Krusty Krab that was destroyed by Plankton. I was just finishing up when Doodle Bob showed up and started to yell at me. Me hi, me no hi. Why people like your patty and not mine? Because ours are made with love and a secret ingredient, Doodle. People should like Doodle Bob. You don't have to be bad. You'll never make friends this way. But he didn't listen. He was so filled with rage that he started to attack me. I felt really bad for him. Stop, Doodle Bob. Don't make me do this. Doodle God. I used his pencil and erased him for good. I felt really bad about what I had done. Just then, a group of fish arrived and started to cheer for me. I still didn't feel great about what I had done, but it seemed to make everyone else happy. On days 86 to 90, I returned to Sandy to see if she still needed anything else to get the rocket ready for plankton. Yes, we need to create fuel cells, bye. She started to go into detail, and I really wasn't sure what she was explaining. So I daydreamed about jellyfish in the jellyfish fields. So I I need you to go get me some more redstone and a few diamonds. Uh, uh, I'm on it, Sandy. No problem. I headed back into the cave and found more redstone and gathered five diamonds. I should have listened more to what she was saying. I hope it's going to be enough. I returned to Sandy and gave her the redstones and diamonds. This is perfect, SpongeBob. I was worried you were daydreaming about jellyfishing and didn't listen. Uh, me? Uh, daydream about jelly? Uh, of course not, Sandy. I was 100% listening. Sandy began working on the fuel cells while I finished up the rocket for her. She added them, and the rocket was ready for takeoff. Now all that was left was to break into the chum bucket and steal back the Krabby Patty formula. On days 91 to 94, I snuck into the chum bucket. I made sure the coast was clear before I entered the lab, where I assumed Plankton was analyzing the formula. As soon as I entered, I saw him. Dang it! How does Krabs do it? Where is the ingredient? I rushed outside, hoping he didn't spot me. I had to come up with a foolproof plan to distract him before I could steal the formula back. I had it. Ah, pizza delivery. It's about time. I ordered this about 31 minutes ago. He rushed out of the lab and headed for the door of the chum bucket. I quickly ran inside and grabbed the formula, hoping I could get out before he returned. I spoke too soon because alarms in the chum bucket started to go off. Plankton came back, rushing in. SpongeBob, I should have known. He hopped into his mech suit and started to attack me. Luckily for me, I was fast and was able to get out of the lab, but he was right behind me. I used my pencil and hit his mech suit, totally destroying it. Ha! Take that, Plankton! Curse you, SpongeBob! I ran into the Krusty Krab and hit the formula into the vault. I knew you could get this back for me! On days 95 to 99, Mr. Krabs and I came up with a genius idea to trick Plankton onto the rocket. I went to my farm and gathered some regular wheat to make some bread. Afterwards, I grabbed some onion from the Krusty Krab freezer. With the wrong ingredients, we created a fake Krabby Patty, and it looked just like the real thing. There's no way he can resist this. Everyone knows a Krabby Patty needs lettuce, onion, and tomato, as well as a secret ingredient, but Plankton didn't know that. I then went to Sandy to make sure the rocket was prepped and ready. I knew we didn't have long. He would have another giant robot ready in no time. We're almost there, SpongeBob. 
I just need a few more days for the fuel cells to stabilize and be ready to go. Since I had time, I decided to check up on Patrick, Squidward, and Gary. I delivered a Krabby Patty to Patrick, and then I spent some time with Gary. I then knocked on Squidward's door. What do you want, SpongeBob? I know I never found your clarinet, so I decided to make you one. Here you go. This is just a stick. Yes, but it's the thought that counts. He slammed the door in my face and went inside. Classic Squidward. This is it. Day 100. We moved the rocket outside of the chump bucket and got it prepared for launch. Everything's good to go, SpongeBob. Yay! I threw the fake Krabby Patty on the rocket and went over to the chum bucket. I knocked on the door and Plankton answered. What do you want, SpongeBob? We know you wanted a Krabby Patty, so we left one over there for you. Oh, thank you. He ran over and before he grabbed it, he realized it was fake. Curse SpongeBob! Suddenly, he transformed into his giant robotic mech. Oh, no. Plankton and I started a battle. SpongeBob, give me the formula! Never, Plankton. We started a fight. I had to weaken his robot suit so I would be able to get him on the rocket. He was hitting hard, but I had come a long way since the first time we met. I was able to weaken him enough to use my pencil and erase his suit. You'll never stop me. I will come back for the formula. Good luck coming back for this. I hit him with my spatula and flipped him onto the rocket. Now, Sandy. Sandy closed the doors of the rocket and initiated the launch sequence. Curse you, SpongeBob. And that was it. We officially saved the Bikini Bottom.